What is going on guys, not far from gaming here, and we are back once again playing some more Clash Royale, and today guys, we have a Lumberjack deck that is really good, and it is perfect for Legendary Arena, and since it's so good in the Legendary Arena, I'm assuming that it's good in other arenas too, so if you have all the cards, definitely give it a try, but anyways guys, here's the deck, so screenshot it, copy down, whatever you have to do, I'm about to show you guys how the deck is played and how well it works, so let's get right into the replay. Alright guys, so this specific replay is actually in Classic Challenge, but I have played this deck on multiple times I think I'm like seven and one with it right now um, online just online um, and then we have tons of classic challenge games we could watch but we got to play a live match after this so we don't really have time for him but he's gonna go ahead and counter really well with the uh, skeleton army I'm not too sure why I zapped honestly kind of a waste in my opinion um, wasn't gonna get anywhere I guess I had to take him out eventually so this is kind of a zap bait deck in a way and I wanted to feature this mostly because it's a zap bait deck and I know that's not really the meta right now elite barbarians are but it is a really big part look at this dude and we're gonna go ahead and tornado these minions back and with the ice golem damage we are gonna take this tower guys already this tower is done so i knew he was gonna have a counter push with that miner since i saw earlier so i go ahead and drop those archers in the front and he zaps so i was like crap i had to play my ice golem or else that minion alone would have probably done over 300 400 500 i don't know that much damage He's going to go ahead and send a Goblin Barrel, and I didn't know he had the Mirror, guys, because he hasn't used it yet, and um, I'm about to find out. And I totally forgot, guys, I could have used the Tornado to pull the Goblin Barrel to the tower and shank my tower and activate it, but I forgot. So here comes the Goblin Barrel, like I was just saying, and we're going to go ahead and put our Lumberjack down, and he's going to get, like, three stabs off. I'm not sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and set our Archers in the back. Uh, just to reset a little bit. I'm not too sure why he countered that over on there on the left because um, Wasn't really gonna do a lot of damage anyway, but Now we're forced to counter everything on the left. So we're gonna drop our ice spirit tornado everything back I did miss the lumberjack and um, he's gonna do a little bit of damage to this tower guys Luckily that miner was just out of range, but our archers are over there on the right getting a little bit of chip damage so he's going to go ahead and send his Goblin Barrel in, and we're just going to go ahead and zap it. We want him to keep putting pressure. That was actually a two Elixir positive trade. He's going to send it in again, and I should have let it go because I knew he was going to take it out, guys. Um, but look at that, 46. He's just going to zap and hit my archers as well. We're going to go with a huge push over here on the right, guys. Oh my gosh, Elite Barbarian just got melted by those Skeleton Army. But look at that. They barely stayed alive in that Rage spell. Oh my gosh, we got the tower all the way down to 353. All we have to do, guys... Is get the snipe the archers in there just getting 84 oh my gosh guys all we have to do is snipe some kind of troop in there and the game is over that's all we have to do i didn't want to zap because i wanted to show you i wanted to prove that you can do this without direct damage spells so i'm gonna go ahead and win fair okay i'm gonna win fair i tried to get the lumberjack for the win but it didn't work and i he wasted a miner so it worked kind of um i played the ice spirit there uh but you know whatever i know I would have zapped guys um, if I got into a you know a little bit of a sticky situation and I was gonna lose but we're gonna send our elite barbarians in we're gonna use a tornado and look at that elite barbarian go guess what it's not even him that wins it it's the archers look at that one shot for the win oh my gosh all right guys so we are going up against rice Gum, and judging by his distracts this is probably gonna be a really tough match so hopefully we can stick it out and get the W let's go ahead and split the archers in the back and see what this guy's got going for him. Um, let's see, let's see, nothing. All right. Ice golem. Watch this. Thanks for pushing, right? Thanks for pushing. Boom. Oh my gosh, I meant to drop the lumberjack. Oh well, I hope it works out. Hey, I think it did. Um, okay, maybe, maybe it did. I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and go archers right here. Um, and ice golem. Ice Golem's the best for that. Oh, come on. Take it out. Hurry up. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Shoot those goblins, man. Oh, my gosh. They do so much damage. So, if he does leave those alone, we're going to get, like, over 500 damage. So, he should bring the tower down. But I highly doubt he's going to leave it alone. And he left it alone, and we didn't get 500 damage. I lied. Uh, <laughs> so, let's go ahead and drop the Mega Minion in the back once we get to about 9 and 3 fourths. There we go. And now we don't waste Elixir. All right. So, what does he have? Oh, boy. Come on, Mega Minion, go for the hog. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zap. And he's only going to get one hit, guys. But I just used the zap, so let's go Tornado right here. 
And come on, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. And yes, hit the tower. Yes, hit that tower with pride. Yeah. All right, so this Inferno Dragon. Wow, this is a really weird deck, guys. He's probably got that uh, for... Because I know a lot of... Um, what are they called? A lot of giant decks are coming back because everyone was using Elite Barbarians. And they took out their Inferno Towers. So let's go ahead. Ice Golem snuck it right in front, barely. He's going to go ahead and log, but it isn't enough. So he's got to counter with something else. Or we're going to do a little bit of damage. All right. Fair enough. Let's go like this. And we should be able to take this out before it gets to the tower. And we're going to go ahead and throw that Lumberjack down and get ready to zap. Oh, I wanted the Lumberjack to go in front, but it's all right. Let's go ahead and zap anyway, guys. Let's go and head and get one hit off. And that Mega Minion is raged up. Let's go like this. Uh, like this. Let's freeze back here, even though we're only going to freeze like one of them. Uh, yep, only one. But let's go like this. We're getting a nasty push, guys. Let's get the Lumberjack in there, too. And we got to get ready to zap because we know that skeleton army is coming. Where is it at? There it is. Zap. Ice Golem Explosion's not going to do it, though, guys. We are going to get to the tower and do so much damage. And this tower is so close to going down, guys. We can almost zap it away. Uh, actually, I think we can zap it away. I leveled up my zap to 11, so that is awesome. Uh, let's go like this. Come on, get those, get those. Boom. Oh my gosh, take them out. Thank you. Nine seconds, guys. We're going to go ahead and zap and take that tower out, and there is nothing he can do. And I just realized I could have um, easily done the tornado and pull his goblin barrel to my tower. I totally forgot about that. But anyways, guys, the opponent just left the match. We made him rage. So here's the deck once again, guys, if you missed it at the beginning for some reason. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.